Egypt has decided to uh, ban pornography. They think that uh, it's a good idea. Now, there was a, a, a motion to do this back in 2009. There was a court ruling, to be more specific. And now, a public prosecutor in Egypt has said that they will enforce this law. They want to ban pornography. And it is a disastrous idea, especially given uh, some of the sexual assault that happens in Egypt. If anything, this is going to uh, make these men basically pent up all of their sexual aggression because look if if you if you want to get that aggression out a great way to do so is a little self love and if if you if you ban that in your country and I'm not trying to make light of this story it's a serious problem um if you're trying to solve that problem in your country banning porn isn't the way to do it yeah we were hoping of course that there would be a little bit more freedom uh, uh with the Egyptian revolution we understood that the p possibilities of the Muslim Brotherhood winning and hence Egypt getting more religious. Everybody understood that that was a real possibility, but as you see it unfold here, and, and it's not our choice, it's their democracy, they won, and, and that's, but if you don't like this, then you know how to, to vote the next time around, and, and perhaps there's some chance that young Egyptians might be swayed <laughs> by things that might seem small, but in reality, of course, are not small, because they also have to do with fundamental freedom Right. Uh, as well as sexual issues. Right. Well, prior to Morsi getting elected, you know, he did make a lot of promises to extreme religious individuals in the country. Mm -hmm. And now that he has been elected, I think that they're looking for him to uh, basically follow follow through with his promises. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is a perfect example of that. And and just to go back to what I was saying about sexual assault in Egypt. It's gotten so bad and authorities have ignored it for so long that now you have these groups of vigilantes. And what they do is they uh, patrol the streets uh, and as soon as they see that uh, someone is you know, sexually assaulting a woman, touching her, groping her, even doing cat calls, uh, they will react to that immediately. They'll spray paint, I'm a harasser on that individual, and, wow. and they'll take matters into their own hand. Now, I don't know if this is the right solution to it. I think that trained professionals should be handling the situation, but the problem is they're not. Mm -hmm. And look, I know I'm throwing Egypt a little bit under the bus here, and it's anecdotal, but I've had several friends that went to Egypt for a long time, and this is not a recent issue. Uh, and they have been at least, at the very least, verbally harassed women uh, with constant cat calls and people following them. Because there's this, there's a couple of pro reasons why they do that. One, they have this absurd image that Western women are so loose that if you just go up to them and you're like, "Hey, baby, can I grope you?" that they're going to be into it, which is insanity. Okay, even if they are more sexually liberated. That is not the way to appeal to them. Okay, but somehow that memo was never received in Egypt. And I know I'm being unfair here. Of course it's not the whole population, but unfortunately it's a, a visible enough minority that it winds up happening quite often to visitors, right? And then the second problem is that you've suppressed all these urges as Anna was saying in the beginning, you know, you know, Islam and no, the porn is bad, sex is bad, premarital sex is bad, and so that it is uh, released in unhealthy ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so instead of having a normal relationship and uh, going out with girls and understanding how that works, you've got guys who are like, hey, baby, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this and this to you. No, you're not. Okay. And so this latest action goes in the wrong direction. It doesn't really help the situation. Right. Suppression for all those decades obviously didn't really work.